Hi, Virgo. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of January 25th, 2021. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com and you will find a link to that below this video. Now, guys, this is a general reading. If something here resonates with you and this is your story, please look at the description box below this video as you will find the extended version to this reading that I'm very, very excited about. Okay, Virgo, lots and lots of energy swirling around you. First of all, I have to admit, there's a quick flash of your temper. And from what I'm seeing, it's like something you're beating yourself up over or something that like occurred in front of you and you didn't realize at the time. Something going on there. It does show that you have decisions to make and also shows it's a week of victory for you guys. Now, a couple warnings here, okay? If you have a child that is close to you, there is a quick and brief passing upset with this child, okay? Um, and for those of you, um, what have I got? I've got think before you speak. Oh my goodness, Virgo, this is so, so not you. So hard for you to do. Ultimately, it is a week of getting what you want, but I need you to keep your emotions in check towards the weekend. So let's take a look. Virgo, we start with the Three of Swords. Third person, unwanted advice, opinion. Uh, three is a crowd. This could be in the love life. Don't worry. We will clarify this to see if we can go further with that. Next to that, Virgo, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. You guys are working, gaming, starting businesses, working two jobs. You are getting a second job. You are really increasing your finances. And, and, and see the roots here? You're spreading it. Savings account. You're doing what you've got to do. This is what I call my Virgo taking care of business right there. Moving forward, we have the Four of Cups. Unexpected offer. And I really want to throw in, I see a lot of unexpected coming in with my Virgo. Um, so, you know, and I really think it's to be an unexpected offer of love. And when I say unexpected, I don't think it's from the person you're expecting it to be. Okay. Up next, we have the Page of Pentacles, Page of Coins. Okay, this also represents a Capricorn type energy. Now, I will throw out signs as we go through your reading that may or may not resonate with you guys. Okay, and this is a good business deal. This is someone approaching you with a business deal. This is not you out looking for a business deal. This is someone approaching you. Center of the reading. Okay, something you need to work on because it radiates throughout the card of self-imposed restrictions with that eight of swords. And why? Why do I see this? Look at the eyes there. You feel that too many people are looking at you. You feel the eyes are upon you. It's not the case. Not the case whatsoever. Let go of this negative energy. And when I say, when I want to talk to you about letting go of negative things toward the weekend, this is one of them. This is it. You will bring yourself down. You can take yourself from here to here by overthinking things and holding on to energies like this. The five of wands. Exactly what I'm saying. You're anticipating the worst. A little bit of pessimist going on there. You're anticipating challenges or whatever. And I really don't see it going that way. Only if you create it. Only if you create it. Because otherwise, there is a situation involving going on here. There's a situation that my Virgos, you know what, guys? You've outgrown. You have outgrown the situation. Moving forward, I've got the Four of Cups. Okay? Four of Cups coming in. This is that unexpected offer of love. I'm sorry, that was the Five of Cups that we saw earlier, okay? And the Five of Cups, the same way, unexpected offer of love. And here it is again. But this one kind of comes out the darkness. See that cup coming down out of nowhere to join the other cups? It's when you least expect it. And like I said, I'm going to reiterate, Virgo, I really think it's something you're not expecting. Moving forward, like I said at the beginning of the video, you guys have got decisions to make. 
Not only do you have decisions to make, these are decisions you've been putting off way too long. I find them to be personal decisions, to be honest with you, but you have decisions to make. Um, I'm seeing the moon here a lot. The moon is really resonating and the moon is jumping out. So let me say this. The moon turns to full on the 28th. This is the week of the 25th. Okay. And we end with the emperor. And this is that control freak. Dominant type person. Someone is dominating their thoughts. Um, and like I said now, let's jump in and clarify these. And let's start your reading right off the bat was with the Three of Swords. Let's start there. Third person's a crowd. Third person's unwanted advice and or opinions. Virgo, you've got the Eight of Cups. It's okay to look in the past. Don't get stuck there. This is probably someone that has done you wrong from what I can see. Okay? And you're reminiscing about it or you're anticipating the worst. With that, I had the Seven of Pentacles. Are you working and gaining? And in that area, you got the Wheel of Fortune. And that means that wheel is finally turning in your favor. Money is coming easily to you guys. You've worked hard for it. Now it's coming a little bit easier. It's got a good natural flow. That Five of Cups energy, don't get stuck in the head, comes with the High Priestess Balance. Centered. The yin and yang. Virgo, this says you got it together. You got it going on. There again. See the moon at the bottom? Okay. This is also telling me any delays that occur this week are actually going to be in your favor. The page of pentacles where I said someone is approaching you with a good business deal. Why? Because the seven of cups says you manifested it. This is something you've been manifesting. That eight of swords in the center. That, you know, um, negative holding yourself back comes with the Queen of Pentacles. Financial stability, we also want to throw out an Aquarius may resonate with you guys. You definitely got it going on in the financial sector. The Five of Wands, where you're feeling challenged. Someone is challenging you. Let that energy go. There's the Eight of Wands. Okay, now, Virgo, I only call, there's two happy cards in the entire deck of 78. This is one of them. This is total happiness, total contentment. Could also indicate some love arrows flying around, which is funny. Because right there, we have that unexpected offer of love coming in. And the Four of Cups, showing you're juggling. Okay? I don't think it's just financially that you've been juggling. I think it's love life, too. Because when I see the decisions to make, I really feel, I know this is a general reading, Virgo, I feel this decision is in the love life. Seven of Wands. You're working, you're working, you're working. It doesn't have a natural flow. This is your love life I'm talking about. It's too much work. It's too much involved. And coming up on that emperor, that dominant controlling type person, I've got the nine of Pentacles, financial independence, two things. One, you are financially stable. You've got it going on in the areas of finances and the areas of business. And my question, my question to you, Virgo, is, is someone using you because of that? Okay. And then we're going to throw down a bonus card. Woo, King of Pentacles. Total complete financial abundance. Okay, also may resonate with something. It will be a Gemini type energy. Very interesting. Also in the love life, please notice here, like I said, whatever comes in the center is what radiates. You've got the card of self-imposed restrictions, but you also got the couple, the queen and the king. The problem I find, they're not looking at one another. All right, Virgo. I'm going further with this, so please join me for the extended. You'll find the link below this video. And for those that are not, have a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Bye.